Hi everyone, Wendy Spanish Crafter here. Um, I found a file in my drawer and it had all bits and bobs from Happiness and Crafting. And I'm not sure which Friday freebies they are, but I know one is number 29 and there was one um, 67. So they've been there for quite a long time. Um, this was one, two envelopes. And I think this was another one with like two um, different colours of vintage ladies and I think this could have been another one with a green piece of paper as well as this tag then I found these cards, tags with, there was two pieces of paper like collage paper uh, that was one and that was another so I've stuck these back to back and I'm going to do a triple fold with those. So I'll just put those to the side for now and I'll put these to the side. I'll just show you these envelopes first. It printed out on paper that had already been printed on. You know when your printer uh, does a test print and you get all this. So obviously I didn't want to waste it so I lined it with some coffee dyed paper and that is what I've done with this one so that just needs folding up and I'll just fold these sides in and stick the lining paper on I just can't stand wasting anything when it's printed out even when my printer's running out of ink which it very often does as you know and I get left with like purple lines down I just hate it I hate wasting anything so I'm going to stick some coffee dyed paper on the top I'm just going to trim these edges down a little bit as they're a little bit wide for the folding at the side just take a smidge off and then I've got a piece of dyed paper here which just about fits so I'll just trim that down a fraction and glue it on get my piece of harden from underneath my mat and I'll just I'll stick over the edge and it near enough comes down to the bottom which is fine Blue smudges the ink but it will be all hidden so it doesn't matter make sure you get plenty of glue on the flap bit that's going to fold in and I'll trim that off but it may just be a fraction too wide I'll just trim a slice off the side No, oh, and I've trimmed too much off. Oh, cord limey. Let's get another piece. Make sure that folds in. I need to fold that in and make sure I've cut off the correct amount this time. going to cut that wider and then trim that down the side try not to cut the flap of the envelope off trim some off at the bottom I'm making this look really difficult a smidge cut off there now what a mess I'm making of this one first one worked perfectly right let's trim around the flap of the envelope now and then we can glue the envelope together Fold those in. Right, 
yeah. All fingers and thumbs. So I thought in these envelopes I would make little tiny notebooks out of some scrap bits of paper. So we've got two little envelopes there to embellish. And I've made one and sewn it. It's just off cuts of paper and that just fits inside the envelope nicely. So that could slot into your pocket in a journal and it's not too fat either. So I've got this one to sew in now and I just do this with two holes and try and catch all the papers. It's not quite um, wide enough to do a three, three hole stitch and I've got my twine already loaded up on a narrow needle, a very fine one. That's good and tie it up in a reef knot, make sure it's reasonably tight. And then put a bow on top. another little one done to go inside this envelope so I'll just leave those to the side for now and we'll decorate these tags up first in fact I'll put a fasten on there first let's get my little circle punch I've got some off cuts of uh, craft card here that I, um, I backed the tags with I'll just, I always do this with the off cuts and I keep them in a little box at the side of me ready to use as fasteners when, um, when needed. So I'm just putting two together. And then I link round the edges and then I just glue half of it on to act as a fastener for the envelope and then the envelope flat just slides under just there like that so just put glue on half of it and and the flap will come out in fact, I might take that a little bit lower down just so that it catches the very edge just to secure the envelope flap. And the same on this one. Okay. So I'll just put something heavy on those just to hold them while I get on with the rest. Now this tag I've backed onto some manila uh, card from a, a big envelope that I had so I'm wanting to put some string or something through here but what I will do again is make another a bit sound my crocodile and then use this as a reinforcement ring. Oops. Just 
just gives it a little bit of extra strength in fact I think we'll put one on the back as well this is another great way of using all your little off cuts up as well we'll glue this one on the back Then I'll just find a piece of um, seam binding. Uh, what colour should we have? Got a nice peachy colour here. Now to decorate this up, I have this spring is in the air, which I thought would look quite nice along there. Then there's some hearts that were on one of the pages, which I thought would just flow sort of diagonally down the tag. It's two different sizes. Yeah. There's three of the larger ones and three of the smaller ones. So I was just going to have those drifting down the tag. I'll just touch the edge of the sentiment there. Put one of the smaller ones on the bottom and then work my way up. Yeah, that's fine. I really must do this with more, uh, more of the bits I have left. I've got a drawer at the sat on my desk. It's like got a filing drawer at the bottom, and there is loads of papers printed, and some need cutting out. There's bits left over from kits, from design team stuff loads of bits and I really must get using them all up so that's quite a nice tag and lots of journaling space on the back but I also got these in a swap and um, they're like little envelopes and they do go nicely the colours go quite nicely with the colours that I'm using today so I will add this pink one I should have added this before I put the hearts on really. I'll just stick that there. And it's all stuck in, it's not a journaling card or anything, but I just thought it would pretty it up a little bit. And it's not adding too much thickness either to the uh, to the tag. So that's quite pretty. So that's one item made. Now then, let's have a look at these. The envelope set, yeah. Now this was two journaling cards, which I cut out last night. So I'll just try and get rid of the white edges on the paper. And I'm just going to decorate the front of these with the images that were here in the freebie as well. And one's got happiness, one's got harmony. And I may back all these onto some of the manila card again, just to give it a little bit more strength. So that's um, two journaling cards. And they're quite a general theme. I know it's the vintage ladies, but they would go in quite a few different themes of journals. Could add some cheesecloth or ribbon to decorate them up a bit more. 
fact, I could just add a piece of cheese cloth under there. Let's just see what I've got here. One under there, spray the edges off a bit. I need to get the fabric glue. Put some on the edge and some on here. Yeah, I'll definitely need to back these onto something a bit more substantial. We'll have this one at this side. A little bit wide, so I'll just wrinkle that one up a little fraction. And then stick the sentiment on. So that's two journaling cards and a tag and two envelopes. all made from some of G's Friday freebies. So I'm gonna um, just go off camera and I'll be back in a minute to work this collage page. Okay, what I've done with the collage sheets, I had glued them together as you know, and even though I smudge all the glue around with a, an old store card, um, I still had like pockets which the glue hadn't taken so I've run round it on the sewing machine I've scored it to make it a trifold and I've stitched um, I've just said that haven't I I've <laughs> went on a zigzag stitch on the sewing machine see there's still just little a little bit there I try to be so careful when I'm gluing you know, to make sure that I get it all. And I miss bits. Right, so I want to make a hole in the top and put again a piece of seam binding through. In fact, I'm gonna go a bit lower down then I can use a reinforcement ring again. I'll make a few of these later on tonight and I don't waste this cardboard. Oof. Right, let's just glue that into place. I do think I want to put vellum pockets in this and then the six tags that were on one of the pages, I can just slot in each of the pockets and it also won't add too much thickness to it to go into the journal. So I think as well for the tags, I shall use material for the tops. Oh, there they are. So there's six of these so I'm going to punch holes, no I'm not going to punch holes, I'm going to use seam binding or some strips of material. Let's just quickly glue um, ink all round these. I should have done this off camera because I think it's really boring watching somebody do this. And as if by magic they're all inked up now. So I'm going to get some strips of material to mm. 
like these strips here will that be enough one two three probably let's just cut it in half and I'll staple them on I'll put a little bit of drop of fabric glue on first let's just get the pocket out of the way and concentrate on the tags just like that and this way again you don't add too much bulk to your journal if you don't have a knot or anything in your material so I'm just going to staple that on and press the back of the staple down a fraction fray the edges off and I'll just get these done then I'll be back okay I've done all those uh, with some scruffy strap scraps of material which I think looks quite nice actually so let's get some vellum and stick on to make pockets now do I do it individually I think so really so each one is going to be about eight and a half centimetres I always tend to do it just a fraction over and then decide how deep we want them I like using vellum because then you can see through what's on the background and also what's in the pocket so that's for So I'll just do those for now and then you'll get the gist of idea. I'll just put some little um, thumb posts in those and then I shall use some collal glue to stick them on. This tip on this glue bottle is so fine, in fact it's too fine for me. Um, I'll just stick three of these on then you get the idea of what it's going to look like. Oh, it's just annoying me, it's far too fine. I'll use this fabric glue. Whichever glue you use, you're going to see the, through the vellum anyway, but I don't think it matters on something like this. When you've got a pattern underneath it, you it really barely shows. them set for a minute and just put one on the front just so that you get the idea so that looks good so the pockets can go uh, tags can go in the pockets it matches the the blue flower and that folds up and I'll put a piece of uh, fabric if I can find some of the same that I used on the tags it's trimming off a fraction there I think this is an old quilt cover 
that I chop up. Just trim the edges, spray them up a bit. Feed that through. I'll be doing things like this in my junk journal class at the shop, craft shop at the end of, um, not the end of September, at the beginning of October, because the ladies want to do tags. So I shall be doing one similar to this for them and making it with them so that looks quite good and like I say it's not too fat to fit into your journal and we can decorate the page, the pockets up or just leave them so that you can see through uh, what I do like is from Artie Mays on her Facebook group page. If you're a member, she has these little, little tiny, well, you can print them out however small you want them, little words and numbers. This is again when my printer misprinted and some of them ended up purple. But that's quite nice. I might stick that on. Ooh, all my glue's leaking out. Let's just wipe that up. I'll just stick one of those on. One there. That's got some ink smudged on it, but that's okay. as well I'm gonna have to start doing this with a lot of my files in the drawer because like I say it's just getting too many and I get frustrated with myself because it's just overwhelming sometimes how much bits I've got that need using and I'm sure you're all the same So you get the idea there of what what's happening okay so that's a lovely triple tag my large journal card another journal card well a pair that match and two little envelopes that um, with little notebooks inside Okay, thanks for joining me today and I hope you like what you see. So join, subscribe and hit the like button and I shall see you next time. Bye.